Hey everyone, before we get into this Borderlands video, I have a real exciting campaign running for the next few weeks which directly supports me and what I do. I have had a plushie made of my logo, which I'm sure you guys would agree looks absolutely incredible. For a limited time only, these plushies will be made available to purchase if a certain target number is hit. So if you guys would like one and would like to rock these little beauties, you can find out more details linked within that video description. I mean, hey, you guys just saw my car. If you get one of these little bad boys and I ever meet you, yes, you can ride shotgun. So again, guys, link to all the details you need to know are in that video description. So with the revenge of the cartel soon coming to an end and being replaced with the Guardian takedown, I thought I'd make a video reminding you beautiful people on the items and such that won't be here much longer, hoping you've already got what you want from this event and what it offered while it's been here. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Revenge of the Cartels event ends on June 4th, which in my opinion is unfortunate, as I do think it's an amazing addition and in my opinion the best event we've had so far. But it ends, and when it does go away on June 4th, with it it takes a few amazing items which you won't be able to get once it's gone. So firstly, let's go through the items you now in reality don't have much longer to chase. So we have 9 legendaries in total that arrived with this cartel event. Now before we move forward, I do want to state I've posted two amazing loot farming spots for all the Revenge of the Cartels event legendaries, both in which you will find links within the video description. So getting into these legendaries, and firstly we have the OP Q system. This one of the best assault rifles in the game, in fact it is the best assault rifle in the game in my opinion. And this is a weapon that drops from Josie Bite and Tranquil Firewall, and it's one I do recommend you getting for sure. And on the highest damage one I believe you can get is around that 9.5k times 2. So do what you gotta do people. Next up we have the Noel Pew Pew. This CLV incendiary assault rifle in my opinion is the best CLV AR in the game. And for those who enjoy these kinds of weapons, this I also insist you go getting. In my opinion it's one of the more common drops I've seen from this event. But it does indeed drop from either the roaster or the tenderizer. Next up we have the Grease Trap. This pistol in my opinion is a gimmicky weapon, one added to make up those numbers and in reality you ain't going to use this over the more serious DPS weapons this game offers. But it does have a fun factor about it and that's in instances when you are playing that co-op. This weapon having two firing modes in that co-op, one person running each mode, you can create havoc. Now I wouldn't say it's a must get but it drops from the roaster and the tenderizer. If it sounds interesting to you, you know where to get it. Next up we have the Yellow Cake, one of if not the most powerful weapons in the game right now. This CLV launcher is just on another level. Yeah Gearbox did state some of the more popular weapons will be brought down a peg or two in terms of them being a little bit OP. This I believe is one of those weapons, but I still insist you go get anything. It's truly a must have. Look for by the way obviously high damage versions, this I do believe you can get up to a 46 times 2 so it's pretty high. Now the yellow cake drops from Fishlap and Tyrone Smullins. Next up we have a shotgun that shoots burgers. Yep, another gimmicky weapon. But if I'm honest, I really haven't played around with this thing that much. So this iceberg although it does shoot those burgers out, it does seem quite unique. I'd say if you come across it, grab it for sure. And it drops from the roaster and the tenderizer. Next up we have the Needle Gun SMG. This again I haven't really seen made too much of a fuss about. Not to say it's bad, I just haven't seen anything special come out of the usage of it. The weapon drops from Josie Bite and Franco Firewall. Next up we have a shield, this one called the Firewall. And Projected Shield has a chance to fire projectiles at attacker. Portion of projectiles damage restores shields. This shield, if sounds interesting to you, drops from Josie Bite and Franco Firewall. Next up we have another shield called the Watson. With this receiving damage, spawns grenade like projectiles of the same element which attacks targets. Pretty unique and I feel for someone this may make a great shield. This drops from Fishlap and Tyrone Smullins. And those guys are the legendaries exclusive to the Revenge of the Cartels event. 
you have indeed until the 4th of June to get what you need here. Okay, moving on and we what to be honest is much much better news because this video wasn't just going to be about the weapons that disappear when the Revenge of the Cartels event ends on June 4th, it was also going to be about the anointments that arrived with this event that would also be going with this event. But actually guys, that is not the case now as Gearbox and Borderlands themselves have confirmed that they will be staying. They replied to someone stating, please don't remove cartel based anointments when the event ends. Remove guns, that's fine, but anointments should stay in the loot pool. Borderlands replied with, we're happy to share that all anointments introduced during the Revenge of the Cartels will remain in the loot pool after the event ends. That said, we value our community's feedback and will continue to evaluate anointments to ensure we're giving players the best possible experience. So that is absolutely amazing people. So there were many anointments introduced with the Revenge of the Cartels event and quickly going through them they were. For weapons we had while action skill is active constantly trigger Novas that deal said damage. We then have while action skill is active reduce all incoming damage by a small amount. While action skill is active weapon damage is increased by 200%. While action skill is active deal 75% more weapon damage to badass named and boss enemies. On action skill N spawn a healing pool for several seconds. On action skill N create a cyber spike that damages nearby enemies. While under 50% health deal 150% bonus elemental damage elemental critical hits can cause status effects of that element to explode creating a nova that deals 500 percent of the status effects damage and we also have gained 300 percent increased weapon damage against enemies over 90 percent health those were the annoyments introduced to the revenge of the cartels uh, for weapons Shields we have on action skill start, activate any effects that trigger on shield break or fill. While action skill is active, 250% of health damage is returned to the attacker as shock damage. On shield break, the next shot deals 100% shield capacity as bonus amp damage. And while sliding, build up energy that fills a portion of your shields. And lastly guys, we have one for the grenades. While action skill is active, grenade damage is increased by 150%. So it is quite cool to learn that these anointments are indeed staying in the game. Here was me thinking we might have to rush into the Maliwan raid to get Walton's recently fixed loot pool of bogged uh, legendaries. You know the four he drops, the Tig's Boom, the Redistributor, the Moonfire and the Kid's Worth. These have recently just been fixed in the latest hotfix. Before this they weren't dropping. So here's me in a panic thinking the ones I don't currently have I'm going to have to farm quickly before the event ends. Luckily though like I said these anointments are staying so that is pretty cool. So yeah guys that is that. Some bad news I guess followed by good news. Bad news being the weapons are going and we probably won't see them again or we'll probably see them for an exclusive time in a future event. But the anointments that we introduced with the Revenge of the Cartels are indeed staying. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and want to see more Borderlands, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. If you guys want to support me directly and become like family to me, click that join button and become a member of my channel. But again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.